Hi. Today we will create a simple UI path uh, process using ChatGPT. With the latest advancements that are happening in generative AI, anyone who doesn't even know how to build a UI path robot can utilize generative AI tools like ChatGPT and ask it to guide through creating a simple UI path process. Let's uh, quickly jump into the uh, design, what we are going to do now. So I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to give me a JSON sample data and I will take that JSON data and format it properly and upload it to Git. And from there, the J GitHub pages will allow me to use that static JSON data as an API. And I will use that API data to consume and create a UiPath process. Finally, where I will deploy it to UiPath Orchestrator and run it as a cloud serverless robot. Without any further ado, let's see how we can do this. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask, just type, please provide me properly formatted sample JSON data of a software employee salary and provide me So it gave me only one response of JSON data. Please send rows of JSON data. Perfect. It gave you all the 10 rows of JSON data. And now let's ask it, can you So it is going to give you step by step instructions of how to consume this API data and let's follow that. But even before that, what we will do with this uh, JSON data is we will copy it, we will open uh, Notepad++ and paste it here. Make sure you already have installed a plugin called as JSONWare so that you will properly format it before uploading it to GitHub uh, pages. And uh, we will type software employee API. Okay. And uh, let's go to GitHub here. Let's go to GitHub. And uh, let's try to create a new repository. And we'll name the repository as software employee API. make it as a public repository and click on add region and click create repository here. So here you can click on add file and upload file and choose the file that you just uh, created the JSON employee. Just double click on it and commit changes. Once you open this make sure it is properly formatted with all the details perfect and uh, to utilize this particular JSON file as an API, all you just need to do is remove the word blog 
and put a word add a word a raw dot github so if you enter this now this is your static a- json api uh, api data and the json files here so take this api and uh, open ui path studio it is slowly opening now we will going we are going to create a background process uh, let's type software employee consuming the api hosted on github pages make sure you click the show advanced options here for you, uh, if you are doing this for the first time it will be uh, minimized so make sure you expand it and select the compatibility as cross platform so that it will be easy for you to create a, a cloud serverless robot uh, con- for, for the consumption of that and click create and as i told you we are going to create a background process uh, we should not be using any ui activities but uh, i need web api activities to keep call the api ca so type web space api and install the latest package click save and first i will just uh, drag and drop or activate the http request uh, activity so it is a get request i'm going to get the request and uh, paste that using the double quotes and you have to record this output uh, out no see http response and save and once that uh, http response string is saved you have to deserialize this serialize json you type the http response and you get this as a out json response i'll tell you why i am putting out here so it got saved as an out uh, variable right i will now convert this as an argument and give it a direction as out um, so that i can use this as a argument when i'm passing it to some other flows here and uh, now just for the viewing purpose i will create a log message uh, and i will record this out json response to our to the string and uh, hit the log level as info before publishing this process to the orchestrator let's try to debug this see if it is really working or not perfect let's open the output and it gave all the uh, api data perfect so make sure you are connected to the right folder or the right tenant here uh, so it will be easy for you to publish this and click on publish and uh, software employee api that is the package name you can put a hyphen or something and click publish perfect this has been published now let's go to this uh, um, orchestrator and make sure you are on the tenant and click on packages and yeah see here is the package now what i wanted to do is i go to this pack, uh, folder level and i will click on process and i will create a new add process here and i will select my software employee api process and uh, it gave me the output json response perfect now click on next there is no uh, requirements like two items or anything this is a simple application you can either leave the display name or you can uh, it by default it will be capturing this one and the description that you gave when you created this project in the ui path studio has already got copied here uh, for now i don't want to enable any healing agents we will talk about that in the later uh, this next recording uh, and cloud serverless robot perfect it is automatic and click on create let's see what happens now if i click on start now it is going to start and you should make sure uh, one more last thing i would like to show make sure this is a cross platform app and this is a background process uh, so that it is easy for the uh, oh, it is it is allowed for the uh, you know the cloud serverless robots to process it now click on start 
to the talk that employee has two has been started it is running right now so if i open the log here i should yeah perfect it's successful so it is it should show all the log uh, the json data here as i created a log message and let's see just verify 101 is john doe and 101 is john doe perfect so this is a simple small demo that we have covered everything here uh, starting from prompting the json and asking for the instructions how to create this uh, uipath process and uploading that json data to github and github pages using github pages as an api uh, that is static api and consuming the static api in the uipath process and finally deploying that uh, to cloud serverless pages thanks and uh, please subscribe to my channel ai chronicles thank you